This time I'm responding to a tag from Friendo who's a relatively new YouTuber and runs one of the smallest channels I'm subscribed to. He makes regular vlog style videos sharing his interesting and thoughtful perspective on all manner of subjects from within and outside YouTube and spices things up now and then with a dash of zesty ponage. Well worth a look I'd warrant to see if he's to your taste. So, anyone who's watched a handful of my videos should have a pretty good idea of what grinds my gears, and in this tag I thought I'd not only clarify just what that is, but also give you an idea of why. To do this, I think it'll help to take a short trip down memory lane. Since I was a kid, I always found that science came easily to me. I sailed through high school at the top of my classes and came out thinking that I was the dog's bollocks. I really did. University was a bit of a shock because that was the first time I met people who were as smart as I was, and I actually had to start working hard to keep up. Nevertheless, I was still one of the few who graduated with a first, that's a 4.0 for my American friends, and I set off to work on my PhD with a head the size of a creationist bag of lies and visions of Nobel Prizes and hordes of lab groupies somewhere in my future. But you know how life has a habit of leading you on, so that just as you get to thinking that you've got it made, just as you think that you're invincible, it comes as a bit of a shock when she turns around and slaps you in the face as if you just put your hand on her ass. Well, very shortly after I started my PhD, she didn't just slap me. She kicked me in the balls from a running start, beat the living shit out of me with a cricket bat and left me in the gutter pissing blood and spitting teeth. You see, in just one institute, I met dozens of people who could wipe the intellectual floor with my sorry ass and not even break a sweat. It really was quite a vicious introduction to reality, and it took quite some time for my ego to recover from the brutal thrashing. To rub salt into the wound, I also met several Nobel Prize winners and personally now know at least two people who have a good shot at one in the not too distant future. Unless you've met and talked to one of these people, it's impossible to describe the magnitude of the intellects that we're dealing with here. These are pure freaks of nature, leviathans of the mind, it really is a humbling experience to meet the kind of people that are the real engines of human progress. So what really grinds my gears is when some ignorant fuckwit gets it into his head that reading a few articles on answers in Genesis means that they actually think that they have something substantial to contribute in areas such as evolutionary biology, chemistry, cosmology or geology. Their utter lack of humility, their complete inability to even consider that maybe, just maybe, someone a little more informed and intelligent than them might have already flushed their so-called ideas down the pan, their gleeful reveling in their ignorance of their own stultifying ignorance, all this doesn't just grind them, it strips the bastards bare. You see, the science that these oafishly inept little motherfuckers seriously think they can debunk by doing something as inane as pointing at a coelacanth and claiming that it hasn't changed for millions of years is the same science that's been scrutinized, vetted, corrected and approved by minds whose enormity they don't even have the mental faculties to grasp. Even the handful of pathetic incompetence whose books and lies they trot out to support their limp, flaccid arguments are mere cockroaches scurrying blindly around in the shadows of giants, and yet these feeble-minded simpletons still strut out into public and smugly proclaim them to be genii when in reality they wouldn't recognize one if they rammed a hardcover copy of The Origin of Species roughly up their arse. I have absolutely no patience for any of them and even less respect and would venture a tentative guess that this perspective may occasionally tint the approach I take in making my videos. Whew. Okay, now that it should be perfectly clear exactly what prevents me from adequately depressing the clutch, I'm going to pass this tag on to the following YouTubers. These are some of the nicest and calmest individuals I've met on this website, so I'd be very interested in what they have to say on the subject.